uh, friends, uh, this is my second lecture on happiness and spirituality. I will uh, dedicate my this lecture to the Eid celebrated by Muslims, Eid al-Adha and Eid Mubarak. Uh, I just extend my Eid felicitations to all of you from the core of my heart. And I previously on one day uh, give a message and that was the message of happiness. So this is my second video on happiness and then in a separate video I also discussed spirituality and soul. So today I will combine happiness and spirituality in one video. Happiness as I defined earlier, is the result of the fulfillment of our needs and those needs are categorized in nine areas. And the acronym is WE PROMISE. WE, if we want to be happy, so WE PROMISE is happiness. And we promise each letter stands for one thing ingredient. And if we have all these ingredients, so we will be happy. We promise W for well-being. Well-being is basically your body and mind. E is environment. We must have congenial, clean, beautiful environment to be happy. P is for pleasure. And I discussed in detail that pleasure is not happiness. Pleasure is 10% of happiness. I will uh, discuss in detail later what is pleasure and how it is different from happiness. We promise, so I discussed well-being, E, environment, P, pleasure, R is relationship. Our relationship is very important for happiness. Relationship with friends, family, colleagues, everywhere. O is outlook, outlook on life. Optimist, pessimist, extrovert, introvert, all these are outlooks. So we promise W, E, environment, P, pleasure, our relationship, and O is outlook. outlook. Now, what is remaining now? That is promise, M, meaning. So meaning, we must have purpose, goal, deeper meaning. And this meaning I will connect with spirituality. I is involvement. We must involve ourselves. Like I have involved myself in this Facebook videos for the last three, four months. Previously, I didn't know that I can get myself involved with thousands of people in this way. So it gives me happiness. Involvement. We must feel ourselves involved with some cause, some purpose in life. So we promise involvement for I. Uh, and S, that is for success. I deliver a lecture on success. Success is 10% of happiness. And the last one is E, elasticity, flexibility. No rigidity. Things are relative. Nothing is absolute. Except God, every other thing is relative. Flexible. No rigidity. So we promise this is happiness. 
Now, how we combine this with spirituality and what is spirituality? Spirituality is basically exploring your soul. We people are so much involved with matter, with body, with physical things. And very few people, then they go towards mind and mental things. So we forget that there is a third dimension to our personality and to our life. And that is spiritual dimension. That is our soul. And soul is the purest, the greatest, the excellence of our personality. Because this is divine. It comes directly from God or from, from any supernatural entity or entities. It comes directly. Like our body, this is physical. Mind, that is psychological. But soul, that is the direct connection with God or any supernatural uh, entity or entities or anything which is the product of extra sensual perception perception beyond senses beyond our five senses direct experience so some people they confuse spirituality uh, like going to shrines and uh, you know uh, doing different kind of uh, sufi or other mystic uh, activities so when I say spirituality, so they may think that I am recommending uh, those rituals are going to graves or shrines or holy places. And for me, this is spirituality. No. Spirituality is gateway to happiness. If we want to be happy, so happiness is not pleasure. And the extreme form of happiness is Bliss. Blessings with bliss. Bliss. B-L-I-S-S. -S. Bliss is a continuous, permanent, constant state of happiness. That we are all the time happy. 24 hours, 365 days of the year, we are happy. This is called bliss. Anytime. No moods. No swings of mood. In the morning, I'm not happy. Afternoon, when I take tea, then I feel happy. And, you know, when I meet with my, some good friend, I'm happy. Otherwise, no, I'm, when I'm alone, I'm not happy. When I'm, sometimes I'm in loneliness, in solitude, I'm uh, more happy. You know, these are moods. So, in bliss are real happiness, which is spiritual state of your mind or soul, then you are all the time happy. This is spirituality. Spirituality is not name of particular rituals. Although spirituality can be religious or it can be without religion. Like in Christianity, there is a complete concept of spirituality and that is Holy Spirit. To it, Muslims say Jibrail or Gabriel, the Holy Spirit. Because in Trinity, there are three gods in one and one in three. So that is the Holy Spirit is a complete dimension. That is spirituality. In Buddhism, Nirvana, the final stage of enlightenment, when you extinguish your desires, your carnal desires, and you reach to that perfection and moksha in Hinduism. It is a similar concept. You know, two religions like Confucianism and Sikhism, Sikhs, it attracted me a lot that in Confucianism, what we do in our daily life, that is holy, that is sacred. That is not like we can't differentiate religious and no religious, holy and unholy. Sacred and secular. No. Everything what we do with full dedication and our full attention, so then that is sacred. That is spiritual. In Confucianism and Sikhism also. 
we may be more familiar with the Sikh uh, religion, Sikh Math, Sikhism in India, Pakistan and other parts of the world. So in these parts of the world, when we uh, read and know about these religions, so they don't differentiate religious or holy from unholy or non-religious. But many religions, they uh, like uh, they don't confuse these two things and they are separate. Uh, holy and unholy, religious, non-religious, spiritual and no spiritual. So in Islam, for example, religion, Sufism is the inner esoteric or, you know, internal uh, aspect of Islam, which is called Batin. Batin and Zahir, Tariqat, Irfan, knowing yourself and knowing God, exploring your own self. So that is religious spirituality. But spirituality can be without religion also. Like meditation, yoga. You do things which are not acts of worship. For example, in prayers, there is a stage which is called Ihsan. That if you can't see God, God is looking at you all the time and you feel connection with God. So this is spiritual. This is not ritual. You are not just uttering a few words and few postures and rituals, but you feel connected to divine presence. So that is spiritual uh, or spirituality. I am not against Sufism or the Sauf or Tariqat or Irfan. Uh, I love Rumi and I love Rahman Baba and Sachal Sarmast and Baba Farid and you know all these uh, spiritual gurus. They were great, great people. But when I talk about spirituality, so that spirituality may be non-religious also because I have many friends who are not Muslims. So I talk to them in spiritual uh, language, not religious language. Because religion and religiosity are two different things. Religion and spirituality are two different things. You can be spiritual with religion or you can be spiritual without religion. So when I talk of spirituality, so that is a totally, you know, a different dimension. And that is your inner experiences, your connection with your environment. Maybe that is divine. Maybe that is natural or supernatural. But still, uh, you feel connected to something which is not physical and which is not mental. Because physics, biology, natural sciences, we study body, matter. And beyond this, we go to mind, behavior, attitude, and aptitude. And these things are psychological. So beyond psychology, then comes parapsychology, telepathy, mesmerism, hypnotism. So all such concepts are spiritual. And spirituality is also, in, it is another name of life skills. Life skills. I will discuss in detail in some other video that life skills like lateral thinking and vertical thinking, critical thinking. These things are spiritual. Critical thinking, when we discern, when we differentiate, when we distinguish, when we decide and we judge things on our own. We are not blind imitators. We are not blind followers. You know, in religion, there is authority. They tell you something and you have to believe in that. You don't have option. But in spirituality and critical thinking, you become, you know, so uh, like clear, the clarity of mind come to you and you become spiritual from inside. So that is critical thinking. And there is a life, it is a life skill, decision making, strategic management. All these things are spiritual because these are not uh, purely mental and purely physical. These things are beyond uh, uh, physical and material and mental aspects of life. You know, if you are sitting on a riverside, water is flowing, there are green trees, you are listening to music, 
you know, these things are spiritual. You feel happiness. Sometimes you spend thousands of dollars to go to some uh, beautiful place and you enjoy natural beauty. So this is that is not mental and that is not physical. You have another feeling, another emotional state of your mind, which is not uh, like reasoning or rationality or you are not doing anything physical, nothing material. So that aspect of life that is spiritual, that aesthetical thing, that literary artistic feeling, sometimes we spend like a lot of time and money listening to music. What music gives us? Anything mental? No. Anything physical? No. So what? why we listen to music? Why we love? Why we like? How we enjoy? Why we enjoy music? This feeling is spiritual and this is spirituality. This is not uh, religious, philosophical, scientific, mental, physical, material. No. So what is this? This is spiritual. So spirituality is that when you clean yourself, your soul inside. Okay. One, you, you take care of your body, makeup, shave, you know, taking bath. All these things are like physical things. Okay? That is, you are taking care of your body. And then uh, inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning, philosophy, logic, arguments, validity of arguments. You know, all these things are mental, rational. But when you go beyond these things, so when you are inside current, your charge is inside. Because we all are made up charges, quarks, electron, proton, neutron, and charges, gluons. We, we are made up of atoms, the same atomic structure. In galaxy, in human being, in a mosquito, euglena, paramecium, we all have similar uh, structure, simi similar chemical composition, the same elements, percentage more or less, but the same thing. So this is called Gia principle that organic and inorganic, the things which are alive and not alive, dead and uh, living things, these can be, they connect with each other. We have consciousness. So this consciousness is spirituality. So today my message to you is again that we should feel happy as we feel happy on an Eve day. If each day is like an Eve day, so we are spiritually evolving. We are doing surgery which is internal surgery. We are cleaning ourselves from inside, internal discipline not external discipline, no force, love. What is love? You say, I love a girl or a girl loves a boy or, you know, we girl, we love each other, poetry and you know, a lot of songs and music. And what is this love? Love is a spiritual uh, feeling. And this love can be divine. It can be human. You, you may love. The other day I, I met a Canadian uh, woman and she told me, that she loves her dog and she will be going to Japan to bring her dog back to Canada and then she will be going to Pakistan and she will be going to other countries and she will be traveling, traveling with her dog. Dog is her love. She is not married. She doesn't want to be in, to have a husband. She is quite happy. I have my pet. I'm, I'm uh, enjoying the company of a pet. So this is love. Th this feeling that we, you know, what a dog can give you or what a cat can give you. Nothing. Nothing, no material gain. Altruism, for example, we are helping people, we are spending our own money in charity. Look at the pillars of Islam. In each pillar, there is spirituality. When we offer prayers, this is spiritual. If it is just ritual, then you won't enjoy it. Then you won't get any benefit out of it. When we give charity, why we are spending our own money? What the hell, you know, why I'm just spending my money and for the benefit of others? This is spiritual. Fasting has spiritual uh, significance. Pilgrimage, 
okay i am not against going to the holy places if those are shrines sometime i go i enjoy you know that tranquility serenity you know uh, sitting there listening to some music qawwali sufi music all these things are beautiful but my concept of spirituality that is the general concept of spirituality which may be religious or which may not be religious a pure atheist person agnostic person a person who doesn't believe in god still can be spiritual and this is eclectic approach that we can we can bring all these things together so how we can become spiritual by mindlessness no mind okay control your mind no thoughts just become an observer and mindfulness to become conscious what is going on what are my thoughts and conscious of your physical position where you are what are you doing your environment which are the ingredients of happiness happiness has to do a lot with uh, spirituality if we must differentiate spirituality and spiritualism spiritualism is you know controlling spirits spirits are jinns you know we spirits and the you know that is another word that uh, the spirits can come and they i remember that when my grandmother uh, would tell us that okay after the dinner let us pray for the souls for the spirits they have come and they are waiting for our prayers so you know that kind of concepts that when a person dies the soul doesn't die and the soul still is connected uh, with the world and then the, the spirits are the uh, the soul they have a role in the worldly affairs and that 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 concept is called spiritualism that is not spirituality spirituality is cleaning yourself from inside no spiritual diseases no jealousy no hypocrisy you can't tell lie you can't be hypocrite no hypocrisy you cannot like do corruption you cannot do anything bad you are like made your machine your inside your computer language your window is like this that you can't do uh, bad things you can't be sad you cannot you cannot you be like uh, you cannot have sorrow you you will be always happy all the times this is spirituality and this spirituality we can attain by different exercises which i said like mindlessness mindfulness meditation yoga asceticism is one part like asceticism when you become ascetic ascetic means ex- exclusively you dedicate to yourself and then introspection you think inside you okay and then uh, you inspect your own self your own thought process your own inside what is going on your feelings your emotions and how you manage your emotions you manage your emotions the management of emotions is stoicism that you become stoic stoic with capital s not small s so you when you become stoic you get spirituality you control yourself your emotions you are not the slave of your emotions your emotions become your slaves you are the master you control everything you control your mind when i sleep myself so just in one second i switch off my mind and i sleep this is called mindlessness no mind mind is your slave mind is not your uh, master your desires your sexual desires your physical desires your carnal desires are not your masters pleasure is part of happiness we must have pleasure but it is part of happiness 10% it is not happiness itself so your body yes food is part of happiness diet is part of happiness but it is not like uh, full uh, pleasure so uh, today on this eid day again i will repeat uh, my felicitations congratulations please enjoy but the message is that each day should be an eid day if we understand this simple thing we become spiritual and we become happy all the time happiness if you have swings of mood sometime good sometime bad sometime happy sometime sad so that is you there is something wrong you are not spiritual spirituality is cleaning yourself from inside complete you know overhauling completely like you could take your car to a workshop and tell the person please do everything there just make it like uh, uh, you know for me workable 
uh, I don't want uh, any problem. The things should go automatic, no efforts, no efforts, no, no pushing, no pulling. I can't, uh, uh, you know, exertion of energy and a roadside, no. I want that the things should go slowly, uh, automatically. So this is called spirituality. Spirituality is understanding your soul, which is inside your essence, your atoms, your charges from which what, what you are made of. Consciousness, you become conscious. You are not just a, a person, weak person or, you know, uh, kind of person who can be changed with the environment. No, you change environment. You are not changed by uh, environment. You become a change agent. You become catalyst. You bring changes. Nothing can change you. You are uh, the master. You are the mentor. You are the person who can uh, manage things. But inter interdependence is there in spirituality. You can be dependent on others, but and the other can be dependent on you. Interdependence. But you are not a parasite that you will be always dependent on others. No. Education, guidance, career counseling, uh, you know, teaching, student, all these things are uh, good. But not like a depending others, like you become dependent on drugs. You know, when you are a drug addict, so you are a slave to that uh, drug. So spiritual people are beyond these things. Nothing can control them. They are so happy. They are so independent. They are so powerful, so much energy in their soul, in the inside. So nothing can uh, control them. So my concept of spirituality is religious and it can be non-religious. Happiness is too much connected with the uh, spirituality. So my uh, project of life is uh, promoting more and more spirituality, more and more happiness through education, combining education with spirituality. We ignore this part because we are so much involved in money, career, uh, jobs, you know, business, these day-to-day -day activities, and we forget that there is something which is called soul. And if the soul uh, is like uh, sick or there is a problem inside, so whatever you do outside will not help. So we will continue this discussion. This is my second uh, lecture on spirituality as well as happiness. Uh, but we will uh, have a lot of discussions on this. And uh, once again, Eid Mubarak and uh, stay blessed. Blessings for bliss, B-L-I-S-S. -S. Please have bliss. When you have bliss, you will be like a shock proof then you will have no problems in life. See you soon. Thank you.